This movie is named Man on Wheel. It's a biographic documentary film. The director is Jim Marshin, and the basic plot is a man named Philip Petty. The background of this movie is in 1974, Philip finished his high wheel walk between the twice tower of New York's World Trade Center. This movie is really dramatic, inspiring, exciting, impressive, and touching. Et il a commencé à me présenter son film. This movie is unique and interesting because of its genre, content, shooting style, and sense of the movie. It's really different and unique from other ones. There are something difficult for the movie to do. Some something like the signs in the high air are difficult to shoot. It's too dangerous and real to see, but the movie achieves it. Also, the movie is inspiring and exciting. It tells the truth and touching to the audience. The emotion and the feeling about the Philippus are passionate, intense, and unusual. His behavior is brave. He never gave up. Green eyes move me. When we embrace, we look like two kids plotting our next piece of mischief. Usually, when you have a dream, the object of your dream is tangible. It's there. It's 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 quixotic, but it's there, nagging you. You know, confronting you. However, there are something bad about the field too. For example, the behaviors of the actor are too dangerous and crazy. Some audience, especially the teenagers, may imitate it, and it may bring some serious consequences. On the South Tower, a cable between two buildings of a long length, it sways, it goes up and down, and there is almost an invisible move, which is a torsion on itself. So, what we devise is say, um, it's, it's called a cavality in the circus parlance. It's actually a guide line that is perpendicular to the axis of the wire, and it goes down to uh, the ground. Even with permission, we couldn't go a quarter of a mile to the ground. Plus, I needed a pair. Here's one, and here's two. We know they cannot go down. So. The solution was asymmetric rigging, which is like this. Here's the first attachment. Each cavality had two legs, a short one and a long one. So this is what I decided was the best for the situation. Usually, when you have a dream, the object of your dream is tangible. It's there. It's a, it's it's quixotic, but it's there, nagging you. You know, confronting you. But the object of my dream doesn't exist yet. Philip and I travelled to New York together, and I remember looking out through this hazy airplane window and seeing in the far distance the twin towers. We'd come all of this way, and, and this was our, this is what we're here for. Was suddenly not a dream anymore. It was tangible. Il ne pouvait pas continuer à vivre sans avoir essayé au moins de de posséder ces tours-là parce que ces tours étaient devenues à lui. C'était c'était comme si elles avaient été construites pour lui d'ailleurs. In conclusion, this movie is really unique and distinct. It's quite worthwhile to have a look at it. On the steel ropes, every step forward does. It takes a lot of courage to do that, as the actor Philip says. Stand on the rope like stand in the center of the stage of life. It can fully perform oneself. If you are afraid to try, life is too monotonous and boring. So I can tell you, and yes, probably it's a lie, but to me it's not. I heard the crowd. I saw the crowd. I hear them murmur. They grabbed me and they, they grounded me. Handcuffed, actually, hands in the back. I was thrown down the staircase. The most dangerous part of this whole adventure. I almost break my head on the narrow staircase that lead to the elevator. Well, we got up from the Port Authority. That it took about three days to rig it up. Uh, I say it's about a thousand dollars worth of cable, uh, and the rigging outfit itself. It's magnificent the way he did it. Did he say anything about why he was doing it? No. Well, if I have a chance to write this movie, I will give it five stars. It's really worthwhile, necessary, and valuable to have a look at it.